For today's Moving Man activity, you guys are going to be given a scenario where a man is going to start at a location and move in a particular direction, and you are going to predict what the position versus time graph will look like and the velocity versus time graph will look like. After you've made your prediction, you're going to use an online simulation called the Moving Man simulation to verify or correct your predicted graphs. So let me first show you how to get to that simulation. So go to Google or your web browser and type in PHET. It stands for Physics Education Technology. And uh, click on the FET website. Uh, this is the home page of the website. You're going to click on the button that says Play with Sims. Go to the Physics category of simulations. And you want to scroll all the way down to the one titled Moving Man or the moving man. Once you get to the screen, just click on run now and it will bring up uh, the Java simulation, the moving man. So the first thing you want to do is click on the tab titled charts and so you can see a position versus time graph, a velocity versus time graph, uh, and an acceleration versus time graph. Uh, we don't care about the acceleration versus time graph right now because we don't even know what acceleration is. So go ahead and click that minus sign and it will make the position and velocity graphs a little bit bigger. So if we take this guy and make him move forward, let's say towards the house, and stop for some time and then move backwards trying to make him move at a constant velocity, you can see that it's automatically graphing his position versus time and his velocity versus time. But you're not going to be able to do a very good job, and I didn't do a very good job, of making him move at constant velocity. So the velocity graph looks a little choppy, and it's kind of hard to interpret. And so I want to show you a way to make him do very precise things so the graphs look perfect to verify whether your predicted graphs are indeed correct or if they need correction. So let's start over. You can just hit the clear button. and. Let's say we want this guy to start near the tree, so that's at an initial position of negative 6 meters. Uh, right here, you can see that he's at negative 2.08, so let's just type in negative 6 and hit enter, and it's going to move him exactly to the position of negative 6 meters. Now, if we want him to move forward slowly at a constant velocity, let's just type in the velocity we'd like him to have. So if we want him to move forward, we want to give him a positive velocity. If we want it to be slow, let's just type in 1. And if we click the play button, you can now see he's moving forward at a constant velocity until we hit the pause button. And you can see what the position versus time graph looks like right here. Let's say we want him to stop for some amount of time uh, before we hit play again and allow the graphs to continue plotting the positions and velocities. If we want him to stop, uh, if you're at rest, you have a velocity of zero. So if you type in zero, and if I hit play now, it continues to graph what's happening over time. His position is staying constant, and his velocity is staying constantly zero. I pause it again. Let's say we want him to move backwards, back towards the tree at a higher velocity than he moved forward. Remember, our previous velocity was positive one meter per second. So let's give him a velocity of negative three meters per second. So he'll move backwards at a rate of three times faster than his previous velocity. So if I hit play, he moves back fast, and we can stop him. This way you can get him to do very specific things. And remember, you are predicting what the position versus time graph will look like and the velocity versus time graph will look like before you run the simulation. Predict first and use this to verify. Have fun.